Hello, I'm Craig Charles, and this is Takeshi's Castle, the show that so often ends in casualty. We've been running this show for a few months now, and so far we've had 208 broken ribs, 124 broken limbs, 1,240 stitches put in, and 3,000 odd teeth knocked out, and they all still want to play. Coming up in this show, we're going to put you through the ringer with the high rollers. <laughs> We're going to dunk you in the cesspit in Slipway. <laughs> and the assault course that even the SAS refused to do. It's the gauntlet. Welcome to the show that goes from mad to worse. <laughs> so, a lot of people have been damaged, but no one seems to mind. Certainly not General Lee and his 100 kamikaze contestants. They're about to get battered and whacked until the last few face the castle in the final showdown. First up, it's lineup. Right, they have to grab a bib, find a line, and then stagger home. <laughs> 100 contestants, only 82 bibs, so you do the maths. Some of our contestants are going to be going out at this very early stage. Once they've got a bib, they have to get on a line. Come on, love it. <laughs> There they go. A kind of Japanese version of the three-legged race with more legs. <laughs> Shouting out orders there, trying to get the timing correct. Oh, different tactic. Going for the jumping. <laughs> Lions aren't on the job there. Our first contestants getting through to the next round. Team play and joint effort seems to work here. What are they doing? A kind of snaky caterpillar technique. These stragglers way behind here. <laughs> Why don't they just try walking? <laughs> On the hands and knees in the mud. Backsides in the air, not my favourite angle. But they're through. The smell of victory there. My favourite bit's gotta be this. Well, I said favourite bit, you know what I mean. Yeah. 90 through to play, high rollers. About to get their hair matted, their clothes splattered, and their bodies battered. Oh, not good there. Odds of the game's fairly easy. Got to get from one side to the other. Over the rollers, without landing in the water. Oh, like that one. She missed. She's missing a few teeth now, surely. Ow! Straight to casualty. Oh! He's hanging on for dear life. Can he make it? It's going to be difficult to recover from this position. Come on, lad, you can do it. Oh, so close and yet so far. Oh, dear. Oh. She banged her chin there. It looked fairly painful. Oh, this guy's flying, jumping and diving into the water. Oh, 
The Japanese Arnold Schwarzenegger here. Ow! But a good torso does not a high roller make. Lying down the job. Can he recover? Oh, very weird technique. Didn't work. Ow! Ow! Double ow! Here we got a ch children's television presenter here. Purple jumper, yellow slacks. What a colour combination, but he's through! This has got to be my replay. Changes his mind, decides to head back home, doesn't make it. Yes. 79 go through to the slipway. It's a different slipway, this one. We've got no one doing the pushing, just the person on the boat. She has to get the speed just right. Too short, she's out. Too long, she's in. And if you're out, you're in. Well, you're out of the competition. Oh, we got Bert Reynolds here. Here we go. Has he got it right? Gives himself a decent push off. Looks like he's tobogganing in the Winter Olympics. Now he's doing synchronised swimming. If one synchronised swimmer drowns, does that mean they all have to? Answers on a postcard, please. A good push off there. Oh, it's a bit short, though, is it? Hasn't got the legs. Oh, no. She's in the water and out of the competition. He looks a bit confident. Come on, lad. Oh, now he gave himself far too much of a push there, I feel. He's not going to be able to slow this down, is he? No, 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 he's in the water. <laughs> Very graceful dive, Whoa. though. Whoa. Whoa. Let's see what the Geisha girl can do. Oh, is it too hard? No, it's too soft. Is it just right? Oh, unfortunate. So close. And yet, so far. Here we go, then. Bit of a poxy push off that. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. You're going in the water, mate. No doubt about it. Serves you right. Oh, you big girl's blouse, Oh, lovely clown outfit, that. Obviously not taking herself too seriously. But is she going for a serious dunking? No! It looks like it's just about perfect, that push-off. She did it. My replay has got to be Burt Reynolds. There you go. The end of the cannonball run into the drink. Right, let's run the gauntlet, then. Always a popular game, the gauntlet. Very difficult, though. Oh. Over the human shields there. Oh. oh, the ball right on the head. But she survives the wrecking ball. Oh, well done. On the trampoline. She's doing all right so far. Oh, here comes the giant space hopper. Whoa! She got through, though. Now, can she get onto the seesaw? She's doing okay. She has to beat the pink thing at the top. She hasn't beaten it. She's in the water. She's out of the game. This chap might not be out of the game, but he looks like he's out of his mind. Oh, he's moving at great speed, though. Excellent speed. Has to beat the pink thing at the top. Hanging on for dear life. Well done, lad. He's miles in the front, but now the space offers. Oh, and knocked him off. The blue ball on the backside. 
Looks like it's working. A Jackson Pollock painting and Union Jack pants. Is he mad? Oh, he's moving at great speed, though. Here comes the space up, and they're right in the head. He's through, though. Onto the seesaw roundabouty thing. That is the technical term, by the way. There we go. The pink thing's catching him up. You've got to start moving now, lad. Oh, no! A double whammy. I bet that hurt, mate. Took the wind right out of his sails. There we go. Over the human hurdles. Oh, she just about missed that ball. Oh, kept her footing well. Thought about a somersault, chase him on halfway through. Space up there. Not doing any damage there. Got a fat, baldy guy just growling at her. This doesn't seem to scare her though, but she's gonna beat the pink thing! And she's taking another another go round the block. She's not gonna get there, I don't think. Oh, she's out of the game. She's avoiding the space offers really well. Oh! No, she's out of the game. The spider. Puts her out of the misery. <laughs> throws her into the water. Unlucky. You can see him happy with that decision. Speed there. Oh, right on the head. Ow. That's quite a heavy wrecking ball that landed on his head there. Oh, the space offer. Does some damage, but not enough. He's still going through. There's the seesaw roundabouty thing. Oh! It claims a victim there. I wonder how long that white outfit's going to remain. Oh! Gets it in the shin, but stays on his feet. Space Hopper misses him. Yeah! Onto the seesaw roundabouty thingy, my jig. Oh, here come the space hoppers. Whoa. Oh, and he's beating the pink thing. Really has to go for it now. Oh, no. And he. Yes! He's there. Goal! My replay's got to be this. She's clinging on for dear life. The spider shows no mercy. A half twisting somersault and she's out. Coming up, we've got the human skittles. Very important to wear a cricket box during that game. We've got the single roller. This one's virtually impossible. And we've got dominoes, also a very, very, very tricky game. See you in a bit. We're back. They're picking cards, so it must be Skittles. They have to stand in the grid, in the place that corresponds with the card they choose. Number one, the ace to be avoided. You really want to protect your privates during this one, I'll tell you. Three can't stand up either. Oh! They fell like, well, Skittles. She's got the ace. She's right at the front. She's going to bear the brunt. That's Japanese for brown trousers time. Look at that. An 80 pound wrecking ball. The ball of doom. Oh, you don't want to be number one, do you? Completely flattened. And I think unconscious. No, no, she's all right. Smelling salts have brought her around. You got the ace. And you've still got a smile on your face. 
Here we go. Heavy ball. Heavy ball. This takes two men to push it. That's how heavy it actually is. I know where my hands would be inside that costume, I'll tell you that. Oh! Oh dear. Number two couldn't take it either. They only knocked down two, though. Number one, how do you feel? Talking about throwing them a curveball here. Put a bit of extra spin on it, see if they can have it bouncing off and down the line, removing more human skittles. Here we go, have they got it right? Oh, number one gets it again. This has got to be my replay. Look at that, bang. 50 players left for the single roller. As I said earlier on, this one looks virtually impossible. Obviously, they have to get to the other side on the roller. Oh, dear. Trying to avoid the water, of course. She's going to lose her footing. Oh, no, no. Straight in the drink. Very trendy outfit there. Long white stripes. The usual technique. Side on. Oh dear. Want to try and keep on his feet. Oh no, 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 no. You can't defy the laws of gravity, matey. We go then. Nice and gently at the beginning here. We want to try and keep it moving as slowly as possible. As soon as he speeds up, he'll look like a cartoon character. He's doing a good job here, though. Doing a very good job. He's going to be heading downhill in a second. Oh, now he gets on it. Oh, you've gone, mate. Back to the happy farm. Back on the pills. Bit of a bodybuilder here. But has upper body strength got anything to do with this game? No, it hasn't, mate. You're out. Keep taking the steroids. Oh, Sam's and right for wearing pastel colours. Oh, shiny yellow now. Slow to start off with. And he's off on his own now. Oh, that's not the way to do it, laddie. Oh, no. When the roller gathers up too much momentum, very, very difficult to keep your footing. I can't believe we're going to get any contestants through this particular round. He's doing well. Good technique. He's jumping up and down, slowly edging it as he jumps. He's doing very well. He's going to be going downhill any second, and that's when the roller seriously picks up speed. He looks like a puppet, although you can't see the strings. Oh, look at the speed! Oh! Nearly banged his head there as well. He's lucky to escape on injury. I just want to see that bodybuilder go in again. Back to the happy farm. 30 left to play dominoes. There's the lady in the lovely clown outfit. Oh, doesn't make very much headway on the dominoes. Oh, they all collapse.
collapse like well, dominoes. Not an easy game to play this one either. Oh, she seems happy even though she's out. What speed! Whoa! Exhilaration! She's through. Oh dear. You have to get your weight distribution absolutely correct, otherwise you're going to bite the dust. Literally. I'd love to know what it says on his jacket. Probably outpatient, or something like that. <laughs> Girls seem to be much better at this than the lads. Look at that. That was sheer professionalism. Absolutely amazing. The girls seem so much better at that. Look at that. Well done. Final few are through to the showdown. This is where they have to storm Takeshi's castle. Lots of contestants through there. There they get into their dinky dodgems. They have to avoid the laser fire from the Emerald Guard. The Emerald Guard lasers hit the sensors on their dinky dodgems. They explode and they're out of the game. There's our two favourite characters from the water margin there. It's like Tokyo on a Saturday night with all these mobile discos. Oh, Emerald Guards are doing very, very well. Will we get a winner? Winning ain't easy in Takeshi's castle. I don't think we've had one yet. <laughs> Emerald Guard picking off the last remaining contestants. And we're out. We're finished. It's over. And no one wins. But maybe next time on Takeshi's Castle.